earns more points and why that matters. Notice the iPhone on the left and the iPad on the right. The left side team has answered this question correctly. And a short while later, the one on the right has answered correctly also, but hasn't earned as many points. Next style question is called open-ended, or as we like to call it, first letter. In the open-ended, we can see on this occasion, it's a picture question. But rather than spelling the whole answer, all we ask for is the first letter of your answer. While we can accept full-length answers, it's much more convenient and faster. On the screen, you will see all the answers that have been submitted, but the only ones left standing are the correct ones. Let's give you another quick example of open questions, but this time using numbers as an answer. Whenever we ask a question which requires a number for your answer, please only use digits and not numerical spellings. Simply enter the digit or digits and hit send. Again, all answers can be viewed, but only the correct one is left standing. And for now, finally, we have sequence puzzles. Players just need to place the answers in the correct order from left to right. So that is it. That's the basics on how to play. But don't worry, if you didn't take it all in, I will be giving you a guide on each question as they appear in the quiz. While all this sounds great, and we love hosting online quizzes, and having players from all over the globe take part, the sad reality is that we are all reliant on other factors that are outside our control to make it a success. There are just a few things to keep in mind. Connected players and their own internet. Give yourself the best chance to stay connected to the game by selecting the best option like are you playing this game near your home Wi-Fi network? Or would you be better connected to your mobile data? What happens if a call comes in during the game? The final part of the jigsaw is how are Kahoot servers behaving while the live stream is happening? While we've had some great successful live streams, it is possible that some of these actions are outside my control and force us to suspend a game. However, we will reschedule the rest of the game for us to complete. So that's it folks. Thanks for watching and let's get ready for some live online quizzing. Hello and welcome to the online smartphone quiz powered by Kahoot and brought to you by Irish Entertainments. My name is John O'Connor and I'm the host for today's quiz. I'll be teaching you all the basics on how to play and interact with this quiz. Kahoot is used by billions of people worldwide and now we've made it possible for you to play with family and friends near and far. All you need to get started is the free Kahoot app, which is available on the Google Play and App Store. To launch the game on the big screen is a must, and we've made this possible by live streaming our quizzes via YouTube. Now you can head over to the game lobby and get ready to enter your game pin. If you don't see the game pin at the top of the screen, this means it is a pay to play quiz. You can usually find out how to get access to this pin on the live video or in the YouTube video description. After you've obtained the pin, simply enter it in the app along with your email address and team name. When that's all done, just hit enter. You should now see your team name on the live stream. Here are some of the types of questions we will be asking. Multiple choice, true or false, picture, sequence puzzles, open-ended. Let's take a closer look at some of these questions. First, this is multiple choice. Our multiple choice questions are usually three choices and sometimes four. During the loading of each question, your device screen will constantly change to match the question format. So for this one, you will have four colors each with a different shape inside. Simply select the color which matches your answer. The key thing to remember here is that timing is everything in this quiz. The quicker you answer, the more points you earn. 
Keep an eye on that countdown. We have it set at 30 seconds. Note, the time you will be seeing may not be a true reflection of the actual time, as there is a lag, which means a time delay in broadcasting and by the time it reaches you. Our advice is not to let the countdown to fall below 8 seconds on your end. If you're experiencing large gaps of time between your live stream video and the game app, then try refreshing your YouTube live stream by stopping and starting it again. Okay, let's take a look at how speed earns more points and why that matters. Notice the iPhone on the left and the iPad on the right. The left side team has answered this question correctly. And a short while later, the one on the right has answered correctly also, but hasn't earned as many points. Next style question is called open-ended, or as we like to call it, first letter. In the open-ended, we can see on this occasion, it's a picture question. But rather than spelling the whole answer, all we ask for is the first letter of your answer. While we can accept full-length answers, it's much more convenient and faster. On the screen, you will see all the answers that have been submitted, but the only ones left standing are the correct ones. Let's give you another quick example of open questions, but this time using numbers as an answer. Whenever we ask a question which requires a number for your answer, please only use digits and not numerical spellings. Simply enter the digit or digits and hit send. Again, all answers can be viewed, but only the correct one is left standing. And for now, finally, we have sequence puzzles. Players just need to place the answers in the correct order from left to right. So that is it. That's the basics on how to play. But don't worry, if you didn't take it all in, I will be giving you a guide on each question as they appear in the quiz. While all this sounds great, and we love hosting online quizzes, and having players from all over the globe take part, the sad reality is that we are all reliant on other factors that are outside our control to make it a success. There are just a few things to keep in mind. Connected players and their own internet. Give yourself the best chance to stay connected to the game by selecting the best option like are you playing this game near your home Wi-Fi network or would you be better connected to your mobile data? What happens if a call comes in during the game? The final part of the jigsaw is how are Kahoot servers behaving while the live stream is happening. While we've had some great successful live streams, it is possible that some of these actions are outside my control and force us to suspend a game. However, we will reschedule the rest of the game for us to complete. So that's it folks. Thanks for watching and let's get ready for some live online quizzing. Hello and welcome to the online smartphone quiz powered by Kahoot and brought to you by Irish Entertainments. My name is John O'Connor and I'm the host for today's quiz. I'll be teaching you all the basics on how to play and interact with this quiz. Kahoot is used by billions of people worldwide and now we've made it possible for you to play with family and friends near and far. All you need to get started is the free Kahoot app, which is available on the Google Play and App Store. To launch the game on the big screen is a must, and we've made this possible by live streaming our quizzes via YouTube. Now you can head over to the game lobby and get ready to enter your game pin. If you don't see the game pin at the top of the screen, this means it is a pay to play quiz. You can usually find out how to get access to this pin on the live video or in the YouTube video description. After you've obtained the pin, simply enter it in the app along with your email address and team name. When that's all done, just hit enter. You should now see your team name on the live stream. Here are some of the types of questions we will be asking. Multiple choice, true or false, picture, sequence puzzles, open-ended. 
let's take a closer look at some of these questions. First, this is multiple choice. Our multiple choice questions are usually three choices and sometimes four. During the loading of each question, your device screen will constantly change to match the question format. So for this one, you will have four colors, each with a different shape inside. Simply select the color which matches your answer. The key thing to remember here is that timing is everything in this quiz. The quicker you answer, the more points you earn. Keep an eye on that countdown. We have it set at 30 seconds. Note, the time you will be seeing may not be a true reflection of the actual time, as there is a lag, lag which means a time delay in broadcasting and by the time it reaches you. Our advice is not to let the countdown to fall below 8 seconds on your end. If you're experiencing large gaps of time between your live stream video and the game app, then try refreshing your YouTube live stream by stopping and starting it again. Okay, let's take a look at how speed earns more points and why that matters. Notice the iPhone on the left and the iPad on the right. The left side team has answered this question correctly. And a short while later, the one on the right has answered correctly also, but hasn't earned as many points. Next style question is called open-ended, or as we like to call it, first letter. In the open-ended, we can see on this occasion, it's a picture question. But rather than spelling the whole answer, all we ask for is the first letter of your answer. While we can accept full-length answers, it's much more convenient and faster. On the screen, you will see all the answers that have been submitted, but the only ones left standing are the correct ones. Let's give you another quick example of open questions, but this time using numbers as an answer. Whenever we ask a question which requires a number for your answer, please only use digits and not numerical spellings. Simply enter the digit or digits and hit send. Again, all answers can be viewed, but only the correct one is left standing. And for now, finally, we have sequence puzzles. Players just need to place the answers in the correct order, from left to right. So that is it. That's the basics on how to play. But don't worry, if you didn't take it all in, I will be giving you a guide on each question as they appear in the quiz. While all this sounds great, and we love hosting online quizzes, and having players from all over the globe take part, the sad reality is that we are all reliant on other factors that are outside our control to make it a success. There are just a few things to keep in mind. Connected players and their own internet. Give yourself the best chance to stay connected to the game by selecting the best option like are you playing this game near your home Wi-Fi network or would you be better connected to your mobile data? What happens if a call comes in during the game? The final part of the jigsaw is how are Kahoot servers behaving while the live stream is happening. While we've had some great successful live streams, it is possible that some of these actions are outside my control and force us to suspend a game. However, we will reschedule the rest of the game for us to complete. So that's it folks. Thanks for watching and let's get ready for some live online quizzing. Hello and welcome to the online smartphone quiz powered by Kahoot and brought to you by Irish Entertainments. My name is John O'Connor and I'm the host for today's quiz. I'll be teaching you all the basics on how to play and interact with this quiz. Kahoot is used by billions of people worldwide and now we've made it possible for you to play with family and friends near and far. All you need to get started is the free Kahoot app, which is available on the Google Play and App Store. To launch the game on the big screen is a must, and we've made this possible by live streaming our quizzes via YouTube. Now you can head over to the game lobby, get ready to enter your game pin. 
If you don't see the game pin at the top of the screen, this means it is a pay to play quiz. You can usually find out how to get access to this pin on the live video or in the YouTube video description. After you've obtained the pin, simply enter it in the app along with your email address and team name. When that's all done, just hit enter. You should now see your team name on the live stream. Here are some of the types of questions we will be asking. Multiple choice, true or false, picture, sequence puzzles, open-ended. Let's take a closer look at some of these questions. First, this is multiple choice. Our multiple choice questions are usually three choices and sometimes four. During the loading of each question, your device screen will constantly change to match the question format. So for this one, you will have four colors, each with a different shape inside. Simply select the color which matches your answer. The key thing to remember here is that timing is everything in this quiz. The quicker you answer, the more points you earn. Keep an eye on that countdown. We have it set at 30 seconds. Note the time you will be seeing may not be a true reflection of the actual time as there is a lag, which means a time delay in broadcasting and by the time it reaches you. Our advice is not to let the countdown to fall below eight seconds on your end. If you're experiencing large gaps of time between your live stream video and the game app, then try refreshing your YouTube live stream by stopping and starting it again. Okay, let's take a look at how speed earns more points and why that matters. Notice the iPhone on the left and the iPad on the right. The left side team has answered this question correctly. And a short while later, the one on the right has answered correctly also, but hasn't earned as many points. Next style question is called open-ended or as we like to call it, first letter. In the open-ended, we can see on this occasion, it's a picture question. But rather than spelling the whole answer, all we ask for is the first letter of your answer. While we can accept full-length answers, it's much more convenient and faster. On the screen, you will see all the answers that have been submitted, but the only ones left standing are the correct ones. Let's give you another quick example of open questions, but this time using numbers as an answer. Whenever we ask a question which requires a number for your answer, please only use digits and not numerical spellings. Simply enter the digit or digits and hit send. Again, all answers can be viewed, but only the correct one is left standing. And for now, finally, we have sequence puzzles. Players just need to place the answers in the correct order from left to right. So that is it. That's the basics on how to play. But don't worry if you didn't take it all in. I will be giving you a guide on each question as they appear in the quiz. While all this sounds great and we love hosting online quizzes and having players from all over the globe take part, the sad reality is that we are all reliant on other factors.
Yes, very good evening to you guys. Welcome to this Friday evening's quiz. Good to have you with us. Camper Queen in the house tonight. How are we all feeling? Are we good? Quarantine quizzing continues. If this is your first time playing the quiz, it is a very good evening to you. We hope you enjoy it. 38 teams and climbing at the moment uh, for tonight's fundraiser for the Camper Queen GEA Club. Uh, as I said, we have um, four rounds of questions coming away. There's 20 questions in each round, 80 questions in total. Uh, we have uh, some prizes for the top three performing teams in tonight's quiz. We do have the Dairy Tech overalls. We have alcoholic sanitizer for second place. We have a box of chocolates even for third. So a bit of something there for the top three teams. But what we want and what we hope is a full night's entertainment for the 41 plus teams that have connected. So hopefully you can hear us nice, loud and clear and uh, that you enjoy the stream. We are available on the YouTube live chat as well. So if you're using a device that allows you to interact with us on the chat, please do that. If there's any requests, dedications, anything at all, we'd be happy to announce it for you over the next one and a half hour of entertainment. My name is John O'Connor. It's good to have you here with us. Hopefully you enjoyed. And if you do. Be aware that we do these quizzes on a very regular basis and it's open to anybody that has YouTube and the Kahoot app. It's as simple as that. We do have a regular spot every Thursday night. We open it up to everybody and anybody. That's at 9 o'clock Thursday evenings. 5 euro per family playing and we have a cash prize. Now we had a great one last night. Uh, just over 100 players I think we had last night. I gave out 100 euro cash prize. That was yesterday. That money increases the more players that we get. Because 25% of the entrance fees goes back out to you, the winners of the quiz. So that prize money is going to increase over time. Please God, with your help. Now, when you sign into the app tonight, you did you put in your team name and you put in your email address. I'm going to be given the email address uh, of the top three teams to the organizers, to Richie and to Jenny, uh, who are looking after things tonight in the background they will be in contact with you to find out the best way to get your prizes to you so any more announcements or anything like that if you want to wish somebody happy birthday or wedding anniversary whatever it is we're happy to do that for you over the next hour and a half as i said there are still more teams joining in we're up to 43 now we'll give that an extra minute or two Please consider to uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. We'd love to reach that milestone of a thousand subscribers. I think we've got a 520 already after these few short weeks of uh, quarantine. Uh, we have some more quizzes as well coming up. Uh, I think tomorrow well, we've got some communion and confirmation quizzes tomorrow night. Uh, we have Sunday. We're thinking about doing a general knowledge one. We're waiting to hear some feedback from people if they'd like to take part on a Sunday night quiz. Okay, so if it is your first time, and I'm sure every time we do a quiz, it's going to be somebody's first time playing it. So we're going to guide you through these nice and steady. Most of these questions tonight are multiple choice. You'll select the answer from a mixture of four. Uh, then we have first letter of your answer for some questions. There's a couple of picture questions. And we have sequence questions. But don't worry about a thing because I'm going to be guiding you through each question as they come along. Okay, so make sure everybody's involved. few familiar teams here. I know a few of these team names. Good to see some of the uh, resident users of the service supporting these great causes and charities. Okay, so guys, we're going to crack on then uh, with the first 20 questions. We do take a five minute break, as I said, after every 20 questions. That allows you to run to bathrooms, top up drinks, whatever it is that you need to do. And we come back down with the following questions. There's a big countdown as well to let you know how many minutes are left in the break. All right. Hope you enjoy, guys. The very best of luck to you all. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Multiple choice. Question number one. Which of these vegetables is sold as a bulb 
is it? Spinach, broccoli, parsnip, fennel. So which of those vegetables is sold as a bulb? Remember, you get more points the faster you answer it correctly. More points the faster you answer. Twenty correct answers. Well done. It is final. Okay, so on my screen just now, you will see the top five performing teams in the quiz so far. On the bottom right-hand corner of your Kahoot app has your score. Tricky now is to get onto my scoreboard and preferably the top of it. But don't worry, we've a long ways to go. Here's question two, multiple choice. Which bank of car is known as the Spirit of Ecstasy figure and it's on the bonnet of its model cars? Is it the Jaguar? Skoda, Rolls-Royce, or the Fiat Punto? Twenty-nine correct answers. Yeah, it is. It's on the front of the Rolls-Royce cars. Okay, so Keatson into second place. Jenny B is in third. Let's move on. Here is question number three. Multiple choice. Launched in 1926, the oh, sorry, the two or N was the name of Ireland's first what? Is it fighter plane, radio, battleship, or cinema? at radio in fact and 33 teams answered this correctly okay so new leaders Keith's son is in the lead Chief in fourth here is the next question which of these is a section of an orange or grapefruit is it a figment pigment ligament segment Bonus points uh, are added if you continue to cor have correct answers. You get an additional 100 points every single time you get questions correct without failing to answer it. Okay, so make that, uh, make that worth your while for you. 41 correct answers. Segment. Okay, now we have Sally Ann Joyce in the lead. Question five next. Which of the following slogans is associated with the fast food chain Burger King? Is it finger licking good? You know when it's real. I'm loving it or have it your way. Which of these is a slogan associated with the fast food chain Burger King? Finger licking good. You know when it's real. I'm loving it or is it have it your way? Twenty-two correct answers. It is. Have it your way. Is the correct answer. Uh, comfortably done in second place. Jane Posey in third. LBW is shown their face in fourth place. SBB in fifth. Here is question number six. The return of the living dead marked the first time zombies moaned for what? Hearts, kidneys, brains fingers mm -hmm. 
40 correct answers. It is for brains is the correct answer. No change in the top five. Here is question seven. In which country is the city and port of Bergen? Is it Sweden, Norway, Finland or Denmark? Twenty-two correct answers. It is in fact Norway is correct. Okay, so movers LBW into third place. Ruby family into fifth. Here is question eight. Which country donates the Trafalgar Square Christmas tree each year? Is that France, Germany, Norway, or is it Finland? The faster you answer, the more points you earn. It is again Norway's correct answer, and 15 of you answered. We have new leaders. Comfortably dominant first place. LBW now in second. One ten thousand steps done in third. Here is question number nine. Which of which one of these stages would be first for a Formula One Grand Prix driver? Is it the starting grid, first corner, penultimate lap, checker flag? Thirty-five correct answers. It is the starting grid. Two went with first corner, four went with penultimate lap, and then four others with the checker flag. Okay, so LBW has the highest answer streak of nine correct answers in a row. Nicotine, good evening. Into third place, Podge into fifth. Here is question ten. What is the literal meaning? Mardi Gras. What's the literal meaning of Mardi Gras? Is it Middle Wednesday, Fat Tuesday, Last Monday, or First Thursday? Three correct answers. Fat Tuesday is correct. Well done, 23 teams. Okay, that's made a bit of difference. There are four teams moving up positions in the top five. LBW now in the lead at Nicotine. Second, Podge third. And the Casey's just popped up into fifth place. Here is the next question. What kind of creature is an anteater? Is it fish, mammal, uh, probably supposed to say reptile or amphibian?
37 correct answers here. It is a mammal. That's correct. Okay, so 10,000 steps done into second place. Sally Ann Joyce into fifth. Here is your next question. Question 12. What kind of domesticated animal is a pug? Is it fish, cat, rabbit, dog? Forty-three correct answers here. It is dog is the correct answer. Nicotine into second place, answering correctly or faster. Here is your next question. Which of these appears on the flag of the Vatican City States? Is it keys, doves, fish, swords? Correct answer here, it is keys and 17 of you answered it correctly. 10,000 steps into second place with this answer. Next question. What is the main diet of pelicans? Is it fish, insects, fruit, plankton? Forty-three correct answers here. It is, of course, fish is the correct answer. Top five staying as the RLBW answer streak of fourteen correct answers now in a row as we enter question fifteen. How many U.S. states have names which are only four letters long? Is it five, three, two, or four? So, how many U.S. states have names which are only four letters long nineteen correct answers with that three is the correct answer messages is coming in here uh could you ask uh brito sullivan to stop googling please <laughs> that's the message we got brito <laughs> good bit of fun here's question 16 for you now multiple choice which character was created by elsa is it mordu pascal flit or olaf Forty-four correct answers with Olaf is correct. Okay, so Podge has moved into second place with this answer, overtaking Nicotine. Here is your next question, question 17. Which US rapper had a number one hit with right round? Lil Wayne, Ice Cube, Florida, Dr. Dre.
34 correct answers. It is Flow Rider is correct. Nicotine back where they were in second place. Here's question 18. Multiple choice. Which Italian city, the capital of the Italian region, claims to be the birthplace of the pizza? Is it Florence, Sicily, Milan, Naples? Correct answer, 31 of you answering correctly. Well done. Any change in the top five? Yes. Fifth goes into fourth. Sally Ann, well done. Here is question 19 now. What is the flavoring vanilla obtained from? Is it flower, root, pod, or leaf? Thirty-nine correct answers. It is from the pod is the correct answer. Okay, so for this next question, slightly different. This is a question. It's called multi-select. So there may be more than one correct answer. If you give me more than one correct answer, you get more points. However, if you select one or more incorrect answers, then you get no points at all. Okay, you can stop whenever you like. With the answers you have but remember the more correct answers you give me for this multi-select question the more points you earn have a look at this okay so select lyrics from the song american pie by don mclean you can select the ones you think are in the song give me a wrong answer and you get no points even if you've given me some correct answers Right, let's have a look at the answers. So the first one is an incorrect answer. Two teams look like they pressed that button. Drove my mark to the shop is not a lyric. All the other three are correct, depending on how many you tapped on. We'll tell us how many points. Okay, so guys, that takes us to the end of round number one already. 20 questions down, done and dusted. When we come back in five minutes time, we will have the questions to round two top up those drinks we'll see you back here shortly
Okay, so folks, if we're all set and ready, we're going to begin the uh, second round for you in just a moment. Hope it's going well for you so far. Can I say a happy birthday to Tommy McCarthy and to Breda Brown as well? Happy birthday to you guys. Hope you're enjoying the quiz thus far. Are we ready for round two? I think we are. Here we go. Multiple choice, question 21. In the TV show, The A-Team, one of the running jokes was BA's fear of what? Is it deep water? Is it flying? Is it mice? Is it milk? Forty-two correct answers. It is fear of flying. Okay, that's the uh, correct answer here. Okay, so who's moved up, Sally, into third place? Uh, VW still highest answer streak. Twenty-one correct answers. Question twenty-two. With which of these types of music is the phrase "big band" most associated? Is it country and western, jazz, folk? Or punk. Thirty-four correct answers here. It is jazz is the correct answer. No change in the top five. GG, highest climber. Here's question 23. Commentator Harry Carpenter was known as the voice of which sport? Cricket, boxing, athletics or football? Thirty correct answers. It is boxing is the correct answer. Marge has moved in third with this question. Here is question twenty-four. Which of these is a type of tropical fruit? Is it claw claw, hoof hoof, foot foot, paw paw? Forty-two correct answers. It is Popo. It's the correct answer. Question number twenty-five. Now, what is a government levy on excessive of uh, company profits? Is it for snowing slump, windfall tax, breeze drop duty, or gale trip interest? Thirty-nine correct answers. It is windfall tax is correct. No change in the top five. Maybe with question twenty-six. If you asked for a tender in a Spanish restaurant, which of these would you receive? Is it a fork, spoon, plate, or napkin?
10 correct answers with fork is the correct answer. Sally Ann Joyce into third place. Here is question 27. Did Anthony Hopkins and Jodie Foster win Oscars for their performances in The Silence of the Lambs? Film? Is it Hopkins won but Foster didn't? No. Foster won but Hopkins didn't. Or is it yes? They both did. The correct answer here, it is yes, is the correct answer, yes. Podge in the third place, here is your next question. In total, how many letter O's are there in the names of the 12 months of the year? Is it four, three, one, or two? Eighteen correct answers with three. Sally Ann moved into third place with this one. Here is your next question. Multiple choice. Mark Owen won which of the Celebrity Big Brother series? Was it the first, second, third or fourth? Eighteen correct answers with the second is correct. Podge into third place. Well done, Podge. Here's question 30. Which of these is a small pit dug for soldiers for use as shelter from hostile fire? Weasel hole, badger hole, stud hole, or is it a foxhole? Thirty-eight correct answers here. It is Foxhole. Okay, so question. Uh, what are we on next? Question thirty-one. Multiple choice. First agreed at the end of the thirteenth century. The old alliance was a special relationship between Scotland and who? Is it France, Spain, Netherlands, or England? Twenty-three correct answers here. It is France. Well done. Come to be numb in uh, fifth place. That's a streak of five in a row. Question thirty-two. Where did the French poodle originate? Is it Canada, the U.S., France, or Germany?
18 correct answers here. It is Germany is the correct answer. Well done if you had it. Top five did. Here is question 33. In which country was the TV soap El Dorado set? Is it Portugal, Greece, France, Spain? Thirty-six correct answers. It is, in fact, Spain. That's correct. Right, question thirty-four. Oriental wine. It comes from which country? Is it Italy, Germany, France, Spain? Thirty-five correct answers. It is Italy. No change in the top five. Here's question thirty-five. What are chestnuts that are widely used in the cuisine of which country? Morocco, Greece, is it France or China? Thirty-three correct answers with China is correct. Okay, so question thirty-six now. Angola is a former colony of which European country? Great Britain, Portugal, Italy or France? incorrect answers with Portugal on this occasion well done no change to Mary Mark Barry should I say Mark Barry is back with an answer streak of three here is your question to the next round sorry the next question the wife of which US president had a maiden name the same as her husband's surname was it Franklin D Roosevelt Lyndon B Johnson Richard M Nixon or Dwight D. Eisenhower. Correct answer here, Franklin D. Roosevelt is the correct answer. Comfortably numb into fourth place with this question as we play this, the 38th question. Weeping Woman. It's a work of art from which artist? Is it Kapuaka? Is it Picasso? Jungris or George Braku?
38 correct answers with Pablo Picasso's correct answer. Well done to the 38 of you. Question 39 next. Which is the fourth film in the Nightmare on Elm Street horror series? Freddy's Revenge, The Dream Master, The Dream Child, or Dream Warriors? Seventeen correct answers with the Dream Masters, correct? Sally, I'm not getting this one correct. The B family's the highest climber. Here is question forty, our last one before we take the halftime break. In the 2004, the film Johnny Cash blocked an attempt to feature what song in adverts for hemorrhoid products? Was it Ring of Fire, Hurt, or I Walk the Line? Forty correct answers. It is Ring of Fire. How fitting. Okay, so this is the scoreboard at halftime. I will be posting up all team scores in just a few moments. Let's uh, top up those drinks, guys. We'll see you back here in about uh, five minutes from now.
We're back shortly with the questions to round three on the way next, folks. We are wishing Mary O'Brien and Jer all the very best with their new milking partner. Okay, that comes in from William Scanlon tonight. Best of luck with it, guys. Huge responsibility. Not that I know anything about it. <laughs> Colin Murray is, uh, is making a comeback. He's got an answer streak of three. Hope you're enjoying the quiz so far tonight, guys. Halfway through it already. 40 questions down, 40 to go. Let's continue. Question 41. What species of whale was Moby Dick? Humpback whale, right whale, or is it a sperm whale? Correct answer, 24 of you had it. It is a sperm whale, is the correct answer. Any change? No change in the top five. Guys, question 42 is a sequence puzzle. You need to put your answers in the correct order from left to right. Your device will change in just a moment. When you're happy with your answer, hit the K button, the Kahoot button to lock in your answer. It's like fastest finger on uh, who wants to be a millionaire from left to right. Let's get it up on your screens before we go any further. You're dragging the answers from the bottom shelf to the top shelf from left to right. Put these Robert Downey Jr. films in order of their release. You get an extra 30 seconds to do this, folks. So you're dragging them from the bottom shelf to the top shelf in the order you think they were released. When you're happy with your answer, hit the Kahoot button underneath. And that will submit your answers to me. Sequence puzzle. Right, let's see how you got on with this one. Okay, 31% of you who played this answered it correctly. The correct order is now below. Okay, so we may have one more of those later on. Nicotine has just gone into pole position. Well played. Here is question 43. The Disney film, The Lady and the Tramp, was first released in what decade? 70s, 50s, 60s, or 80s? So when was it first released? Forty, sorry, 22 correct answers with the 50s is the correct decades. No change, top five. Nicotine still answer streak of 15 correct answers. Here is question 44. Which former Spice Girl had a hit with Northern Star? Posh, Jerry, Mel C, or is it Mel B? So which former Spice Girl had a hit with Northern Star? Twenty-eight correct answers. It is Mel C is the correct answer. 
no change top five double trouble is making a comeback here's question 45 a full set of adult teeth contains the fewest of which of these premolars canines incisors So a full set of adult teeth contains the fewest of which of these premolars, canines, incisors. Yeah, 19 correct answers with canines is correct. Ooh, only comfortably numb answer this correctly in the top five. Guys, question 46 is next, and all we need is just the first letter of your answer. There's no need to spell out the full thing, okay? Just the first letter is fine. First letter of your answer, what word can come before clock and after smoke? First letter will do fine. No need to spell the full answer. Just hit the first letter of your answer, press send to submit your answer. Thirty-five locked in their answer. Let's have a look at those. Correct answer, it is A for alarm. Six of you typed out the full answer. We have more of these questions coming your way, folks. We give you more points for correct answer. The faster you, you answer correctly, so A would have been plenty for you, okay? You would have got more points, presumably, if you just had A, okay? Let's get one more of those. You know what to do. Question 47. What work tool has a heel, a back, a toe, and teeth? First letter of your answer. Just the first letter, folks. Right, so it's calculating up all the different answers that we've received. Crowbar. Correct answer, it is S. Saw is correct. Fourth and fifth place answering correctly. Here is question 48, first letter of your answer. Which city became capital of Wales in 1955? First letter only. Which city became capital of Wales in 1955? Right, let's have a look at your answers. Someone put in car. C is perfectly fine. Cardiff. Going well, here's question 49 now. Multiple choice. Which food appears first in the lyrics of the Oliver song, food, glorious food? Is it cruel? Peace pudding, is it steak?
33 correct answers for Cruz. Correct answer, well done. All right, let's move on. Question 50. Again, first letter only. What is the surname of the only father and son Formula One world champions? First letter will do perfect. What is the surname? of the only father and son Formula One world champions. Right, let's have a look at your answers. 40 locked in those answers. Calculating all of those up. So many different answers here. It is Hill. 15 correct answers here. Nicotine, not one of the teams to answer correctly, not to worry. Here is question 51, multiple choice. Which big cat's name comes from the Latin, uh, sorry, Native American word meaning he who kills with one leap? Is it a panther, jaguar, or is it leopard? Nineteen correct answers. It is Jaguar is correct. Well played. Here is the next question. The eagle on the national flag of Albania has how many heads? One, two or three? Thirty-six correct answer. It has two heads. Thirty-six. Well done. Okay, question fifty-three. Right now, a religious figure who has beatif been beatified in the process of being made a saint is known by what title? Exalted, blessed, or divine? Yeah, 22 correct answers. It is blessed is the correct answer. Sally Ann into fourth place here. Three in a row from Bunties. Back in the game. First letter of your answer. Just the first letter. No need to spell it out. Martha Kent is the adoptive mother of which superhero? Superhero name, please. Thank you. Okay, so correct answer, it's not C, I'm afraid. No, it is the superhero name is Superman. Rodrigo is Clark Kent. Superman is the correct answer. Okay, question. Uh, what will be our next question? 55, first letter of your answer. Footballer Ian Wright played the greatest number of his games for what club? First letter of your answer. 
Footballer Ian Wright played the greatest number of his games from what club? Correct answer here, it is A for Arsenal. 34 correct answers. Comfortably numb, not one of those teams. Sally Ann now has the highest answer streak of 10 correct answers in a row. Fair play. First letter of your answer. In 2013, what song became the first James Bond song to win an Oscar? So in 2013, what song became the first James Bond song to win an Oscar? An Oscar. First letter is fine. Song uh, by Adele. It's called Skyfall. 26 correct answers. Well done. Okay, Podge now into second place. LBW into third. Here is question 57. First letter of your answer. First letter, first name. Songs for My Mother was a number one album by which boy's own singer. First letter, first name. Correct answer here, it is or for Ronan Keaton. 35 of you answer this correctly. No change, top five. Here is question 58, multiple choice. Palophobia is a morbid fear of what? Is it cleaning, cooking, pantomimes, or is it everything? Panophobia, it's the it's a morbid fear of what? Cleaning, cooking, pantomimes, everything. It is the fear of everything. Thirty correct answers. Sally Ann into third place. Here is question 59. Leonardo da Vinci painted the Mona Lisa when he was living in which city? Paris, Florence, Rome. Leonardo da Vinci painted the Mona Lisa when he was living in which city? Paris, Florence, Rome. Thirty-five correct answers. It is Florence. LBW moving into third with this one. Okay, let's get one more before we take our third and final break. Which of these is an official abbreviation used for a state by the U.S. Postal Service? R E M I do, whichever you think it is. Go for it.
35 correct answers with MI. Well done. Right, so guys, this is the scoreboard. So after round three, we're going to take our third and final break for tonight. Top up those drinks. We'll see you back here shortly for the final 20 questions in the quiz.
Okay, so guys, we're back shortly. So the questions to round four, the last 20 questions on their way to you now. Look at team, team to catch at the moment. Podge is in second place. Ali in third, LBW in fourth, and comfortably none in fifth place. You've got 20 questions to try and catch these top five teams and be in with a chance to win some of these prizes. Quick message to Jax Joyce, who played, who's playing in Dublin, and we're looking forward to having you down in Buttons Bar in Capa Quinn. And that comes in from everyone who is owed a pint from you. <laughs> got a bit of explaining to do on that one right guys uh, let's move on so here is the questions to the fourth and final round which of these snooker world champions was born furthest from the crucible theater john parrot john higgins john spencer Twenty-eight correct answers. It is John Higgins is correct. Well done if you had it. The Fab Four back with an answer streak of three. Here is question sixty-two. In the Wizard of Oz, which of Dorothy's companions said, "Put him up, put him up"? Is it the Cowardly Lion, the Tin Man, or the Scarecrow? Thirty-seven correct answers here. It is the cowardly line is the correct answer. No change on this question. Top five staying as there. First letter of your answer. That's all we need. First letter. What film starred Bruce Lee was uh, premiered six days after his death. First letter of your answer. What film starred Bruce Lee, which was premiered six days after his death. Correct answer here, it is Enter the Dragon. 14 correct answers. Okay, LBW knew this. They've gone into third place. Multiple choice. Question 64. Which of these planets orbits the sun at a lower velocity than Earth? Is it Mars, Mercury or Venus? So which of these planets orbits the sun at a lower velocity than Earth? Fifteen correct answers. It is Mars is the correct answer. Third, fourth, and fifth, uh, fifth answering correctly on this one. Here's question 65. The film Invictus is set during what 1995 sporting event? Is it Ryder Cup, the Rugby World Cup, or is it the Tour de France? Quick request and hello to Helen and Aiden Kyo who are in Limerick enjoying tonight's quiz. I hope you are.
33 correct answers. It was the Rugby World Cup is correct. Colin Murray is making a ca uh, comeback. Three in a row from Colin. All right, we got another one of these sequence puzzles. From left to right, put these in the correct order. Put these Clint Eastwood films in the order of their release. We have Gran Torino, Million Dollar Baby, Dirty Harry, Unforgiven. Put these in the correct order from left to right. Make sure you hit the Kahoot button underneath to submit your answer. The faster you do that, the more points you earn. Forty percent answering correctly. The correct order is now below, folks. That is the correct order. Okay, so let's have a look at the next question. First letter of your answer. Equinoxes take place in September and what other month? Just give me the first letter of the of the month. So equinoxes take place in September and what other month? Give me the first letter. Correct answer here is M for March. 34 correct answers. Question 68 is also a first letter of your answer. In 1934, what Disney duck first voiced by Clarence Nash? First letter will do perfect. 1934, what Disney duck first voiced by Clarence Nash? Correct answer here, it is D. Donald Duck, 42 correct answers. No problems. Question 69, first letter of your answer. In what sport can you bogey a hold? First letter of your answer. Okay, I'm not sure what that's for. It is golf, correct answer. 43 of you answered it correctly. Tied at the very top with uh, 10 or 11 questions to go. Here's multiple choice question 70. How many times did George Lazenby play James Bond on film? Twice, three times or once?
25 correct answer played once and once only okay question 71 first letter of your answer the avidia viva stadium is in which european capital city first letter of the capital city Correct answer, it is Dublin is the capital city. 40 correct answers. Okay, moving on, here is question 72, first letter of your answer. The Bollywood film industry is based in what Indian city? Correct answer here, it is M. Mumbai is the correct answer, 16 correct answers, well done. Sally Ann just moved into third place with this one. Question 73, first letter of your answer. What South American country once had five presidents in just two weeks? First letter of your answer. What South American country once had five presidents in two weeks. Twenty correct answers with Argentina. Twenty teams. Any of those in the top five? Four of the five of them had it. LBW, not one of those teams. Question 74, first letter of your answer. Which country has the most registered ice hockey players? First letter of the country. Which country is the most registered ice hockey players? Right, let's have a look at those answers. It is calculating them all up. Here we go. Correct answer. You can see it full length spelling. It is, of course, Canada is correct. 38 correct answers. I uh, want to say well done to Sean McCarthy, the intermediate hurling team manager who bought an iPhone today just to be able to play this quiz. Fair play, Sean. Well done. <laughs> You'll be able to play from, uh, from, from Thursday onwards too. Here is question 75, multiple choice, got a picture question attached to it. What is the name of this country? Nicaragua, Trinidad and Tobago, Taiwan.
23 correct answers with Taiwan is correct. Top five answered it correctly. Coronavirus is back with an answer streak of three. Okay, so first out of your answer, or actually we want the full spelling, folks. We want you to spell the full answer for this. Whose logo is this? I need the full spelling. Make sure you hit send to submit your answer. Jaguar. <laughs> John Deere's correct answer. 29 correct answers. Top five answered correctly as we head for the uh, 77th question now. And again, we're looking for full spelling, complete the spelling of this soft drink. We're going to slowly reveal it, I believe. Make sure you press send, complete the spelling of this soft drink. Correct answer, it is Sprite. How many had it right? 42 correct answers. Well done. Okay, so question 78 now. Multiple choice. Picture question with it. Which football team's logo is this? Huddersfield Town, Brighton and Hove Albion or Bournemouth? Thirty-six correct answers with Bournemouth is correct. Top five answered it correctly. Question seventy-nine, multiple choice. Which band's logo is this? Is it Fallout Boy, Lincoln Park, Nirvana? Twenty-eight correct answers. It is the logo of the band Nirvana. Is correct. Well done. Okay, so we are heading for question eighty. Multi-select again. There might be more than one correct answer. Select lyrics from the song "Hey Jude" by the Beatles. Make sure you hit submit to send the answers to me. Okay, so uh, those are the answers. The only one you shouldn't have selected on is remember to hold her hand and squeeze. That is not a lyric in the song Hey Jude. If you've selected that among the other ones, then no points for you. Okay, so that is 80 questions. What we're going to do next is the unofficial results. If you give me a minute or two later, 
stay on the live stream i will give you a full rundown of the actual final results before we do that i want to say thank you to Kappa Quinn. hope you enjoyed the quiz we invite each and every one of those people that played tonight to any of our quizzes more so our thursday night is our regular spot every thursday night it's open to everybody we got players from the uk from the us from all over ireland leash dublin galway they're all over the place and it is grown we gave away as i said a hundred euro cash prize last night to the winners that is going to increase the more players that we have because we give back out 25 percent of all the takings it's just five euros this quiz is been set up it's been running since march we're going to keep it going right up to the end of the year and if there's still people playing we're going to keep going with it okay uh we got uh, top prizes first prize is a weekend for two for, uh, for two in mondeligo second prize is a day trip to dramona and third price is a dairy tech overalls fourth price is the alcoholic sanitizer which we can't get our hands on it's quite hard to get it right let's give you some of the results for the moment as follows here we go in third place unofficially for the moment it is podge second place sally ann joyce and in first place it is nicotine okay as i said to you folks they are the unofficial results i'm going to try and get a list of every score we have and finish off this uh, quiz once and for all we are going to be posting up the results as we always do on my facebook page which is john o'connor smartphone quiz host that is where you'll find all the scores everything involved i'm just going to roll up here now in just a moment with all of the scores from tonight's quiz and give you the official ones okay so um just to announce the top three just to confirm it now okay in third place it is podge 87 percent of correct answers second place 86 percent uh with 142,000. This is going to make sense when I put it up on the screen. Let's do that right now so we know where we're at. Here we go. Okay, let's come down a small bit. As we can see there, nicotine at 143,656 points. Uh, second place, Sally Ann Joyce, 141,132 points and podge in third place these are the official results folks we're going to be posting them up on our facebook page in just a few minutes uh, until then guys thank you so much for coming out this uh, friday night and sponsoring kappa queen for their quiz we are going to be back here again very soon thank you for playing i'll see you again soon do take care good night